Uh, first, I just want to ask you how you got into dentistry. I really wanted to travel when I was younger. We didn't grow up with a lot of money. And so dentistry was like the path for me to have a career that I could travel with. I didn't want to travel and, you know, bartend or work in a restaurant or anything like that. I wanted a career. And so I was choosing between being a nurse, being a teacher and a dental assistant. And I actually chose a dental assistant because I was like 10 months and I can come out with a career. Let me do that. And then I... As soon as I graduated, I moved to Bermuda when I was 19 to work in a practice there. And how long did you actually uh, work in the dental field for? Over a decade. I um, got certified as a orthodontic assistant pretty much immediately waiting to get to Bermuda. And then when I got to Bermuda, I became the treatment coordinator and then the office manager. And I ended up staying at that practice for 10 years, hired a new team, systemized everything. And then during the pandemic, I actually decided to step into coaching full time. Okay. So you, uh, once the pandemic hit, then you kind of switched gears. Um, Are you, would you consider yourself a life coach? Yes, I would. I I would say that I'm a life coach and a dental consultant. And I like to keep those two kind of separate because a coach is someone that helps you internally understand what's getting in the way of your success, understand like internal barriers, internal blocks, really works on your mindset. And a consultant teaches you kind of a path that's already been proven. And so in many ways, I have proven a path in dentistry when it comes to systems. And I consult on that, but I very much start at the beginning with all of my dental clients where we focus on the vision, the mission, the values, the internal structure, their internal framework of what's going on in the dentist's mind before we get into any pathways or systems or structures. 